Now we Kegel, we're going definitely going to stand out because of her passive ability, Education, which gives all commanders in her same battle zone a 40% increase in experience. So, uh, yes, right here, Adolf, we need to send them out. I'm pretty sure they can handle this by themselves. I mean, right here, Adolf d deals a thousand damage on her own, and she's still faster than him, so it's like GG. Like, really? No, there's no question. It's just straight up GG. Uh, this guy, <laughs> we can just send out anyone we want. <laughs> like, literally, even Family Becco is able to take him out one shot. That's that's how pathetic this guy is. Um, but instead, we'll be sending out, like, Mary... I mean, Mary Britain's uh, stats are super bad. Um... <sighs> we sent out, um... Mikado and Yamato Mugen. How's that? And, uh... Why not? I mean, donuts. Oh, shit! I forgot. Well, time to restart that, because I accidentally hit the, um... What is it? I accidentally hit the, uh... Start battle button, which I really didn't intend to do. So I gotta do everything over again. But it's okay, because it only takes, like, five seconds and we're done. Alright. Let's fast forward through everything here. So, <laughs> take two of this. Nebu Keiko, Takarazo, right to Adolf, and uh, Sarah Britton. All deployed there. Um, Mikado, Mugen, over there. These guys. Um, we're going to be basically sending out a... Uh, let's see, Rommel? Actually, we don't even need to send them. Let's see. Just do that. Yamaha yeah, Mugen. Let's see, where's Rommel? Victory Nelson and Rommel. How's that? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rommel's an odd level commander, so he's not able to um, kill either of them. See, Defog is at minus 70%. That's pretty harsh. Yeah, Mon Mugen is fortunately enough for us a, a, an evil, even level commander, so. That's good for us. Looks like Red Tia Adolf is also a level, uh, a, um, what is it? Odd level commander as well, so fucking A. Yeesh. This isn't fun. Have, uh, fighting against a condition like Defog, it really sucks. But, regardless, we're still able to just completely curb stomp them, so might as well just end this battle right away and receive our bonuses and go on our merry way. So, um, let's see. Uh, really the only thing worth it here is the quarry. I mean, the Kanda yields so much damn resource to begin with that, um, it's kind of overkill, to be honest. Alright, so now... Let me explain uh, that last scene first, where you saw that kind of Indian-looking person. Can in Canada, in Daitekuku, in Canada, there are um, like an, there's an Indian kind of like a reserve, like a Native American reserve, uh, located there, and um, they're kind of significant. And I'll, I'll try to explain why to the best of my ability, but I still don't really know how they're significant. But I do know that they're significant towards the story. In any case, um, we're going to recruit uh, Fred Halsey here. Who is a very, very strong um, aircraft carrier commander. She is very, very strong. She is one of the strongest carrier commanders in this game alone. So, ah, uh, yes. So, we are now, basically, um, Dorothy Newman, who was the head of the core faction, kind of a research programist kind of person, um, has escaped to uh, basically take refuge among the uh, Native Americans who, uh, fortunately enough for her, um, do kind of... Uh, Take her in, kindly, I guess. I don't know. So, she's kind of adapted to uh, their lifestyle for now. But, um, soon enough, we will be knocking on the front door asking them to join us. <laughs> as is uh, for most other games, anyway. So, now, now that with our next uh, such, um, kind of, uh, this basically, that event, li that right there, is basically telling you this is now the late game. And now the uh, the theme song is now pretty freaking badass. Just listen to that if you want. In any case, um, now that being said, we have basically our massive cap capital ships, our final capital ships of the line now available for recruitment. First of all, though, 
we don't need to, you don't need to uh, uh, research these two right away. In fact, it's pretty it's kind of a bad idea if you uh, if you do because not only are do they cost a lot of resource to begin with or a lot of technology points to begin with, but also they will cost a shit ton as well. So it's not a very good idea for you guys to just research this straight off the bat because it, it, chances are you're probably not going to be able to afford this right right away. What I recommend is that you. Uh, get this this is very important cannon ships are extremely important in this game because now at level 6 the level 6 cannon ships they do a lot of cannon damage and on top of that they have insane speed as well so you stack two of them automatic a thousand a thousand forty can or a thousand eighty cannon damage and 840 speed that's a lot and considering that they only cost four uh, C, uh, 45 CP uh, per ship or per fleet this is pretty much the most cost efficient of fleet in this entire game in my honest opinion. So you need to research this straight away. Another very good ship that uh, that I recommend getting is the um, is the level six uh, submarine, the Titan uh, Type 100, as this game likes to call it. So those two are imperative. So with that being said, that means that uh, if we basically get rid of these two. Because we don't need them anymore. Because all we need to do is go over to our, uh, what, uh, our, um, what is it? Our shipyard here and build two of those. And what do you know? Look at that. Look at that. So pro, man. So pro. So he may have me. He may have taken a little bit of a hit in his laser damage. But considering how much, just exactly how much cannon damage he's received from that, it's pretty. It's pretty much like GG, yeah, GG. But at the same time, we can't really do that because it's not very efficient of his use of command points. So unfortunately, we can't really do that right now. Um, what we can do is, uh, let's see here. And we could just go ahead and straight up do that, but I kind of don't want to because if we're going to do that, we, we might as well just start um, researching these. Um... So yeah, I don't know. Um, Tobus Yoshi, he's he's a very versatile commander. Like you can have him as a carrier commander or a laser commander. It's you can have him as you can have him as both, in fact. But it's kind of it's kind of difficult to manage his uh his uh, bonus his bonuses. I mean, it's not really it's not really difficult because all his bonuses are just general anyway. Like I mean, look at that, all stats, all stats. So it doesn't really matter what you put on him. But it's kind of tricky to manage both lasers and um carriers at the same time because if you do that, you you typically sacrifice um speed so uh, that's unfortunate but uh, yeah, but that's something nonetheless we need to uh deal with here in any case um i kind of want to do that but uh nah. <laughs> imagine that imagine how sp just exactly how strong he'd be now in any case um we might as well do that then I mean, it'll be a little bit more, a little bit stronger at that. Uh, I have no, I have no idea why these two are here, so we're going to sell them off. Useless ass ships. And uh, looks like we got another one of these. Strange. Um. Now by this point, we can just have him do this. Now that was what we're talking about, baby. And um, in fact, we're not going to even do that. Because Takarizo is quite the natural submarine commander, so we're gonna buy a couple of these and put them on him. Fortunately, we really can't uh, put any more. But for what he is, uh, we're gonna have to wait until he get gains more, uh, more what is it, command points. But uh, yeah, he's very strong now. On top of that, he's not able to be detected because he has he has basically dive on his side. Oh shoes. So might as well save it there. Uh, I'm gonna be sending a couple of troops back to uh, deal with the uh, invasion from a uh, USJ, but we're gonna do that later. And uh, I think this is about it for me for this run through or this session of Taiteko. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. You could shit that.